Hey guys, welcome back. I am a little really late to this video, but I figured a video is better than no video, right? Um, I decided just to film this because I was thinking maybe um, most people don't realize you can do this, but um, somewhere along the way, I figured out that I could cook a roast, and I guess you could cook any meat actually, but the recipe was a roast. Uh, this is a boneless uh, beef chuck roast we got them on sale at kroger reagan posted it as a community tab i think they were all like six to eleven dollars they were dirt cheap so anyhow i figured out well i saw a video that showed that you can cook your roast in a electric rice cooker and i have one and i don't make rice in the uh rice cooker the electric one i just do it in the microwave because you know i just do anyhow so i like to brown my roast up first which is what i'm doing right now i'm going to brown it on both sides with some onions and in here, I know it's kind of dark, hopefully you can see. This is some broth, any broth of your choice. I'm still trying to use up that vegetable broth, so that's what it is. I don't prefer that. I would really just do beef. Um, but anyway, broth or water, whatever you want to use as your liquid. Uh, I don't really have a specific measurement. I just pour. That's probably about, um, I don't know. A cup and a half maybe and also a pack of Lipton onion soup mix like the dry mix that you would put into spinach dip and then a can of French onion dip let me see if I can find the can let me see if I uh, didn't throw it away yet this you put that in there with the Lipton onion soup mix and some broth or water whatever and then I'm gonna add my roast with the sauteed onions once it's browned and you're just gonna um, push your little button to cook and I think you have to do it two to three times it doesn't take that long and that's it it steams it up I guess is what it's doing essentially and it makes it tender and it makes it really good this makes a really good gravy and like I said this is probably super versatile you could put any meat you wanted you could put any sides you could probably do um, something with a tomato like a tomato base or cream of mushroom something I don't know anyway I just figured maybe not a lot of you had heard of this because it was new to me I'm not going to show you you know cooking my whole roast or anything this was just kind of of a uh, hey did you know this video so let me know if you guys have tried this before and what you've done in it because the only thing I've done so far is a roast so if you guys have other things that you've tried and worked out well please let me know thanks for watching catch you on the next one what the heck I decided to throw in a clip of me browning it so that's one side of it all right I'm trying to do this one handed i'm about to add some broth to this i'm just going to go ahead and like deglaze the bottom make its own little gravy and then i'll add it to the rice cooker that's it that's the gravy that it made i didn't do a lot because like i said i'm throwing it in the rice cooker that's what's left in the pot after I took the roast out. I'm gonna add it to here. And I'm sorry about this lighting, but that's it. It's in there. I don't know if you can see that. That's how much is in there. I'm gonna put the lid on it and press this down and then I'm just gonna watch it. And then I'll probably have to end up doing that two to three more times. Just depends on how tender you like it. And we like ours to be kind of falling apart. So that's it. Like I said, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.